Hi, I'm Jody and I'm back from a 10 day off the grid biking adventure. And when I went back, I saw that my team is playing MHS CTF. Okay, I checked some of the scoreboard. We are we were among the 10 and check the challenges some of them were not solved among them Euler's method I solved it and I want to share it with you I'm not good in maths and many of you are not good in math neither or something like this and I'm not good in English but many of you are sorry for my bad English anyway what I want to show you is that only 30 teams have solved this. It's a very low number. Although this is not a difficult question. The point is many people are afraid of mathematics. As soon as they see that your favorite class of the day is AP Calculus BC and you are recently been learning Euler's method. They just close the question, go to the next one. It's a common question. People ask if I have to be good in math if I want to be a programmer. Honestly, in most of the cases, we only use things like addition, subtraction, and counting in math. It's very, very seldom that you use something else. If you consider multiplying kind of addition. Anyway, in this case, I didn't knew what's Euler's method. But the question is clear. It's part of the AP Calculus BC and it's called Euler Methods. And the question is, Y prime of X is this. And we have one initial value, Y of five is two. And then we have one step here and one X here. And we want to calculate the, what will be the Y if this should be the x. An Euler method has some step, which in this case it's uh, 0 0.8. If you read the question thoughtfully, it will tell you that the input will be passed in through steady in separated by new lines. Make sure your output is also separated by new lines. The first line of input will contain only one integer representing the number of additional lines of the input. Okay. For each input, you will receive a space separated set of two numbers, each between minus 10 and 10. The first is your step size. And the second is the x value of the point you need to estimate y value for. So we have one step and we have one x and we need to estimate the y using Euler's method. I did not know what the Euler method is, but I did a search for AP Calculus BC Euler's method and I found this nice page. There were many, many other pages describing the same thing. The concept is clear. If y prime f t and y Please note that here it uses T, but in our questions, it's X. If we have this, and if we have one point for X0, Y0 is the answer. We need to estimate Ys for Xs, for known Xs. It says, okay, it's Euler's method. First, you have to go through this. You have to say, xn equals x0 plus n h. h is the step. And for that, y n plus 1 will be calculated via this formula. This post shows you why does it work. It shows you the rate of change of the function, how you should derive it and everything, but we don't know, need that. We just need this logic. So let's go and write the program. I'm writing in code these days to see how the copilot is working. I will save it as e.py, e for Euler, and I will say 
Ah, okay. In the question, there is an area you have to paste your code here and it will show you the if it's working or not. Okay, so this should be my code. We need to read the std in standard input. I will start with that one. Import sys. Now I want to read the data. I will say for line in sys std in read everything. Uh, data append line strip. This is Copilot. It gives very nice suggestions, but it interrupts your flow of thinking. I have a love and hate relationship with it at the moment. Okay, I'm reading all the data I get here. Uh, this is the input. Vim input txt. It says you have one number in the beginning. It says, okay, two lines of input, step and x, step and x. And I have to return two numbers, estimated y for these two, estimated y for these two. Let's go for that. And if I want to run this, I have to run it as this. I will say cat input txt. Python 3 EPY. It's always good to check if we are doing it correctly. So I will say for i in range of data 0 int OK. Repeat this times. What should we repeat? And I will say step and x is hmm, kind of good plus one and i map this to the float to make both numbers as float numbers and i will say print step and x to make sure that i'm reading numbers correctly i don't okay i'm reading numbers correctly now i have to go to write those formulas. n is 0. Uh, y n in the initial state it says x0 is 2, y0 is 5. So y n is 5, x n is 0. I'm not keeping all the numbers, I'm just calling them y n and x n. I will say while 1, I will solve this later. Okay, what does it suggest? Total garbage. Xn is, I will use this formula for Xn, x0 plus nh. Here h is the step. So that will be 5 plus step in n. And yn is, this is the formula, yn, the previous one, plus h and the function. So I have to keep, keep the previous one. Previous yn is yn, then I will update it. yn plus step in the formula which is provided here. x to the power of 2, so that will be xn in xn minus 6 yn yn okay and then add 1 to n this should be it how much should we continue while xn is not equals x because we are waiting for the to reach the x so here we previous y n right what i want to show you is that i don't totally understand this logic 
but I'm not afraid of mathematics. Tells you this is the method, and it tells you this is the branch of mathematics. So I search for this and this, I will reach to this one. It says, okay, if this is your question, this is exactly my question, this is the solution. So I just write a program to do that. And I will run my program. And it's not working. Where is the problem? I know it's not working because these numbers do not add up. The results would be 2.8 and this. Why? My inputs are correct. I have checked them. Then, ah, xn is not 0. xn is 2. It's here. So. What? No. This is the... See? It says... This is x0. This is y0. So y0 or as I call it, yn is 2 when I begin, and xn is 5. Now, it's better. And now, we have the correct answer, at least based on what we had here. In the question, it says when you are returning the value, you have to round it and just show one uh, decimal digit so i will go with round of this with one decimal digit round and now we have the correct answer okay it was a little bit confusing the reason is i'm not good in, in english and i'm not good in math you are good in English, and you might not be good in math, who knows. But what I wanted to show you is don't be afraid of, in, uh, of mathematics. Very few people solve this, but you can see that the solution was very, very straightforward and easy to implement. And it has 35 points, which is a high point in this uh, competition. And it's... Uh, it has nice prizes. Prize. Prize. It has nice prizes. So many people are trying to be in the top rank, but they have not gone for this question because it's mathematics. Do your research. You don't need to know all the mathematics to start programming, but you need to be able to search, find what you need. And as you saw, it's even this Euler's method only consisted of some loops, additions, checking things, nothing too fancy or too mathematically advanced. Anyway, let's go for a more uh, fun or cooler uh, challenge. I will solve another one. It's about uh, cryptography. Be with me.